we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Minutes Sports Channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes. So without wasting time, let's get started. Today's problem is spirally traversing a matrix which is marked as a medium level problem. Let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do. So basically we will be given one matrix, one 2D array matrix of integer type and it's uh, like the number of rows and number of columns will be in the range of 1 to 1000 and the elements will be in the range of 0 to 100 okay all right and now what we have to do we have to basically traverse this matrix and return as a new array list we have to return a new array list by traversing it in spiral form by traversing it in spiral form so now you will be wondering what is spiral form first of all let me explain that so basically here you can see this is what the pattern which is making something like this okay so this is a spiral if you know this is a spiral so same thing we have to do with this matrix we have to traverse this spirally and uh, add the elements spiral uh, in order in spiral order to an array list and basically return it okay all right so how can we do that now this is a very very interesting question because here you can see from the for the first time one two three four here what happening what is happening is we are going from uh, starting point to the end point and after that now again i will have to start from eight i have to again start from eight Till, till 16 okay and after that again i have to start from 15 to 13 okay and after that i have to start from 9 to 5 okay all right so in this way i have to cover and after that again we have to resume from 6 to 7 okay again 7 is done so only 11 and then 10 okay in this way we have to add in this way we have to add and uh, how can we solve this it's a very very interesting problem so let me explain you that as well what i will do i will simply have i will simply have uh, four variables let's say left is equal to zero okay right is equal to a number right is basically number of columns so zero is starting and zero one two three three index is the ending point for the columns okay all right and after that uh, let's say top so top will also be zero in the starting and bottom will be number of rows bottom will be number of rows so number of rows is basically four so index will be three okay so this is our uh, matrix and now what we have to do we have to traverse it spirally so if you will see first one if you will see first one so here what we are doing is i am going from i am going from left to right i am going from left to right and my top is constant and my top is constant and i will store i will store matrix of matrix of top i will store matrix of top and then i ith index which will be ranging from left to right so store this in my array list store this in my array list okay all right after that after that again i have to start from 8 to 16 okay so what i will do what i will do now my top is top was 0 so after that i will update my top i will update my top to 1 okay so like first of all when this left to right is done i will update my top to 1 because now starting one is first row is done so i will have to start from the second row okay now if you will see 8 12 16 it is basically it is basically top to bottom it is basically top to bottom and the right is constant and right is constant okay so in this way how what i will store what i will be adding so top to bottom will be in the zero uh, first array so it will be i which will be changing and right and this second one will be right because and right will be constant because last column i am traversing i am traversing the last column and last column is basically 3 in the start in the uh, meantime so r will be 3 okay so now again we will store all the array list all the elements of this 8 12 16 will be added after that look 8 12 16 is added after that i have to start from this 15 then move to 14 then move to 13 so what is this what is this third way third is basically right to left r to l r to l if you will see so basically look after this top to bottom is done what i will do i will decrease my r to 2 because look last column is done last column is done and right is always pointing to the last column which i have to traverse okay r is pointing to the last column which i have to traverse and this right last is done so i will start from 15 and uh, yeah basically right to left and in this point bottom will be constant bottom will be constant it is 3 okay because bottom is not changing bottom is not changing so bottom will be constant and now what i will add matrix of bottom matrix of bottom and i ith column which is changing from 
which is changing from right to left okay again i will add to array list all right after adding to the array list now my bottom will be increased now my bottom will be increased so what now my bottom will be bottom will be oh not increased decreased three it was earlier three now it is starting two because last row is done last row is also done okay all right so again look again last thing so left to right is done top to bottom is done and then left to right right to left is done now only one thing is remaining that is bottom to top bottom to top okay and in this time left will be constant left will be constant so what i will store i will store matrix of i and left will be constant okay all right and this i will be ranging this i will be ranging from what from bottom to top from bottom to top okay all right so after that my left will be increased again because first column is done first column is done so left is always pointing to look now i want to specify it again uh, left basically points to starting column right basically points to uh, ending column and top is pointing to the starting row and bottom is uh, pointing to the last row which i have to traverse which i have to traverse and it is still not traversed okay so this is what these are signifying and after that again so all four are done again what i will do i will start from left to right again i will start from left to right and my top will be constant so in this time six and seven will be traversed six and seven will be traversed okay again again what i will do i will start from top to bottom so bottom is basically this and top is also this so it is only traversed once and after that what i have to traverse i have to traverse uh, right to left i have to traverse right to left okay so in this way 10 will be pointed and after that uh, when my when either my uh, top is less than look top should be less than bottom and less than or equal to and left should be always less than equal to right and in this way i will be continuing this process like spirally moving first of all left to right then top to bottom then right to left and then then what bottom to top bottom to top i will continue this process and uh, when any of these condition will false i will simply come out of this loop and return okay so this is what i have to do now you will be thinking how we will be doing this process okay so there are various ways to solve this first of all what i like most is basically i will store take one variable d anything you can take so d is equal to 0 and i will use switch case so we can do without switch case as well but i'm just thinking to use switch case because we haven't used it from a long time so and uh, yeah let's see it's very very interesting code but before that if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video and do good do some good comments here as well because it will really motivate me to make more videos and uh, i have made a very cool chrome extension for you which you can see this button is there it's link where you will get in the pinned comment make sure to download it and support it it's absolutely safe and free as well okay all right now let's move on to the code section then okay so first of all what i will do i will simply uh, take first of all r is equal to uh, rows dot length basically number of rows in this matrix so mat dot length and column is equal to c is equal to total number of columns and that i can get from mat zero dot length something like this and after that i will take four variables if you remember first one will be top top will be zero and after that after that look top is zero and then i will use down as well so down will be r minus one last okay and after that what i will do i will simply use left left will be what left will be starting zero and right will be what last column right will be last column and uh, that will be c minus one okay something like this and uh, after that i will take one more variable let's say d it is to check which case we are currently running and if you, you remember what case i told while while top is less than equal to down and then while top is less than equal to down and then left is less than equal to right i will continue this loop i will continue this loop and uh, i will use a switch case if you remember i told you i will because look it can be used without switch case as well but let's use this switch case once so that yeah, we have not used it as well from long, long time so let's use it so switch d and now case zero case zero so basically first case was what first case was what i will start from left to right and top will be constant start from left to right and top is constant okay all right so let's simply write the code for it basically for int i is equal to left i is less than equal to right i plus plus and top will be constant so basically uh, one more thing we have to do i have to take one more result array list which in which i will be adding what i'm doing res is equal to new array list okay and now res dot add uh, what look matrix 
left to right and top will be constant so top and i okay something like z uh, something like this top and i and after that after that what i will do look first row is done first row is done i have to move to second row i have to move to second row and to move to second row my top will be increased so top plus plus and after that simply use break okay all right so this is my first one after that case one let's say in the case one in the case one if you will see i am going from top to bottom I'm going from top to bottom with my right as constant. Right as constant. Right is the last column, and last column I'm traversing. So right will be constant. Okay. So let me write the code again. For int i is equal to top, i is less than equal to down, i plus plus, and simply add matrix of i and what right? Because right is constant for the whole time. Okay. And after that, after that, I will simply decrement my right because right was pointing to last column last column is done i will move to the previous column i will move to the previous column this 7 11 okay so right minus minus and simply do break all right let's move to the case 2 then so for case 2 what i am doing i am starting again look uh, left to right is done left to right is done top to bottom is done so now the chance of right to left right to left okay so let's write the code for it sorry for int i is equal to right i is greater than equal to left i minus minus and res dot add so look matrix of bottom down matrix of down and i and after that after that if you will see the last row is also done and down is uh, pointing to the last row last row is done move to the previous row and for that down minus minus down minus minus okay all right and after that not here not here come on it will be down minus minus and after that i will simply do break okay all right after that case four last case case three in the case three if you remember uh, now look left right is done right left is done top down is done so the chance is for down to top so basically what i will do i int i is equal to down i is greater than equal to top i minus minus and simply add so if you remember in this point in the last case in the last case our left is constant because left is pointing to the first column left is pointing to the first column and we are traversing first column left is constant and i will move from down to top okay all right so rest dot add matrix of let's say i and left is common okay all right and after that coming here after that coming outside of this so now basically what i will do left first column is done first column is done move to second column to move to second column i will simply increment my left and break okay all right so this is the code of our, of our switch case okay after that uh, out of this switch case any case will be done so i will increment my d i will increment my d but if my d is already equal to 3 if my d is already equal to 3 i will make d is equal to 0 to move to the first case again after 3 first case will be done okay and otherwise otherwise simply increment my d so that if it is 1 it will become 2 and in this way it will continue at last i will simply at last i will simply return my rest all right so now let's try to submit this one directly to check if it is accepting or not meanwhile if you have loved the explanation Please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video, share your feedbacks into the comment section and uh, this uh, code you will get in, on my GitHub link will be in the description and please download this Chrome extension as well. I have made this it with huge effort. It's completely safe and free. So yeah, I think it will get accepted. Alright, it is getting accepted. I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Till then, 